Just recently, I made a $30,000 bet on Bitcoin. And in today's video, I'll be explaining to you why I've made this move and also why I believe Bitcoin is just at the beginning of its next bull run. But before I get into the details, I do have a couple things to ask of you. First of all, hit the like button. Let's aim for 500 likes this video. I know we can do it. And second of all, if you guys are new here or returning and not yet subscribed, I would greatly appreciate you hitting that subscribe button down below. But without wasting any more of your time, let's just go ahead and get into this. So on the screen now, you can see this $30,000 bet that I made on Bitcoin. In particular, I purchased 300 call options on CleanSpark, which is a Bitcoin mining company. And we know based on the past that if Bitcoin does well, these Bitcoin mining stocks even outperform Bitcoin. So in a way, by purchasing call options on a Bitcoin mining stock, I am taking a leveraged position on a leveraged position on Bitcoin. It's kind of crazy. This is a gamble more than it is an investment. But you can see, fortunately, that this bet has been going my way. I'm already up about $25,000 or 94% on these 300 call options. But now let me explain to you why I made this move. First of all, it's pretty much common knowledge that Russia's national currency, the ruble, has lost tremendous value as a result of Russia invading Ukraine. This is due to numerous different things, but most of all, it's because of the sanctions being imposed on the Russian economy. The Russian economy has absolutely cratered, and as a result, their native currency has also cratered. So Russian citizens have lost almost all of their buying power because of their currency losing value. As a result of all of this, we've had both the Russian government, but also Russian citizens flock to cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular. We can see based on this chart shown on the screen now that trading volumes between the Russian ruble and Bitcoin have increased to a nine month high as the country's fiat currency has plunged to record lows due to the fallout from the invasion of Ukraine. The reason Russians have flocked to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is because it can't be sanctioned. It can't be restricted for the most part, and there is no central authority backing Bitcoin. The easiest way to put it is that Russians see crypto and Bitcoin as much stronger than their fiat currency, the ruble currently, because the ruble keeps losing more and more value, where Bitcoin remains strong and even is increasing in value. This is a very easy use case to understand, and as a result, it's not just Russians that have been piling into Bitcoin. Before this Russia and Ukraine war, there really wasn't an easy use case to explain to people that were interested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But now it's very easy to understand the appeal here. Not only Russia, but Ukraine has been using cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular, accepting donations because traditional avenues of raising funds have been cut off. So Ukraine has resorted to accepting donations in Bitcoin from anywhere across the world. This in and of itself explains this use case even more and makes it even more easy to understand. Because if we go to something like PayPal and try to donate to Ukraine, PayPal is going to take a 4% fee. Whereas with Bitcoin, the fees are very, very minimal. The reason it is so expensive to transfer cash from your bank account to another country overseas via traditional methods is because to get that cash to whatever bank account it needs to get to, that cash has to touch several different banks along the way. And along the way, each of those banks is going to take its own cut and take its own fee. That's why, for example, PayPal charges a 4% fee to transfer money to Ukraine. Whereas with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, the fees are very, very minimal, almost non-existent. This again, as I just covered, is an easy use case to understand for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. The fact of the matter is, more and more money is going to flow into cryptocurrencies as more and more people understand the appeal of using Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So all of these things are great catalysts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency to continue to hum higher from here. Again, I already covered this. But this is by far the easiest use case to explain to anybody that we have ever had for Bitcoin. As it gets easier and easier to understand, more and more investors will become believers in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, which is a very positive catalyst moving forward. Moving away from the Russia and Ukraine war, another catalyst we have for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is actually eBay eBay is trying to rebrand and be the one-stop shop for millennials and Gen Zers. Basically, they plan to add crypto payment options very, very soon. This isn't the management team debating about it, thinking about it. 
This is the management team blatantly stating that they will be implementing crypto payment options soon, potentially on March 10th, which happens to be their investor day. Something like this is going to create demand in the same way the Russia and Ukraine war has created demand for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. So all of these things I've mentioned today have created more and more demand. And the other side of the equation is supply. In order to get the price of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies to go up, obviously demand has to outpace supply. So what are we seeing on the supply side of things for Bitcoin in particular? Even despite Bitcoin's most recent plunge to the low $30,000 level, the illiquid supply of Bitcoin has now surpassed the May 2021 peak, reaching 76.3%. Basically, this means the people that are buying cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular in this case are holding onto their Bitcoin. Even despite Bitcoin falling from $69,000 at its peak to the low $30,000 level recently, people have not gotten cold feet like people thought they would. People have largely held onto the Bitcoin that they had bought up. This is a very bullish indicator going forward for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. If demand continues to pick up, as all signs are indicating it will, and supply remains this constrained, you can do the math. But overheating demand and low supply makes prices skyrocket. So what does my total potential profit look like? I already covered it earlier in this video, but fortunately I'm already up about $25,000 on this bet. If Bitcoin continues to roar higher, obviously my position in CleanSpark is also going to roar very, very high. As you can see, over the past month, CleanSpark stock is up about 74%, which is far outpacing the price of Bitcoin. So if we go to one of my favorite sites here for call options called Options Profit Calculator, we can basically see my potential total profit based off of the original investment I made. CleanSpark is currently trading at around $11 per share, and if it goes to $12 per share at the expiration date, I'll gain about $34,000 as a result of this investment. Obviously, if Bitcoin keeps roaring higher and higher, CleanSpark is likely going to go much beyond $12 before the expiration date on March 18th. So for fun, let's just say CleanSpark gets to $15, which might be a stretch, but it's also possibly reasonable. We can see that my total profit would be about $124,000. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you is not to brag by any means. It's just for full transparency. If Bitcoin keeps going up, I will do very, very well. So I am biased in what I'm saying in this video. I am hoping Bitcoin goes higher and higher because ultimately I will profit more and more as Bitcoin continues to climb. So for all of these reasons I've listed out today, this is why I made my $30,000 bets on Bitcoin and CleanSpark stock in particular. So far, it's paying off, but I should say there's no telling what exactly is going to happen tomorrow. Nobody can predict anything. If they could, we would have many, many trillionaires in the world. So take what I said today with a grain of salt. Nothing was meant to be financial advice. I'll keep you updated on what happens with this position, so make sure you're subscribed below. Also hit the like button. We're aiming for 500 likes. But with that, have a great rest of your day. Have have a blessed rest of your week. Peace out.